Our first guest took a combination of his love for music, toys of yesteryear, his art degree, and a willingness to experiment. And we've got the proof right here, ladies and gentlemen. CasperElectronics.com is his website. He's a modding fool. Peter Edwards is here today to tell us why. Hi, Peter. Welcome. You got slash dotted, so the whole world now knows about your crazy hacks. Yep. How'd you get started doing this? Um, well, when I got out of school and I could actually do what I wanted to do, uh, I became infatuated with uh, analog synthesizers and weird sound-making devices, and I decided that's what I want to do. I want to make synthesizers. So. Did you have any electronics background? No, none at all. <laughs> so this was nothing. kind of a pipe dream. Yeah, it was, it was totally out of nowhere. So, um, <laughs> so you started with what? What was your first model? Well, I started with the speak and spell, and I figured this would be a good in. These to, are readily to available. Out. They don't make no, them anymore. No, they're not readily available. They're not. Um, they don't make them anymore. You can find them at thrift stores. A lot or... of people remember this. Sarah, our, yep. our producer, was saying this. Is, she learned how to read with this thing. Yep. This was a big in the people. 80s. In fact, I remember, he didn't E.T. make his phone He sure did. He communicated. He phoned with, home with, with his speak and spell. Homeland. Was that kind of an inspiration for you? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Edwards, phone home. So how does, he, how does this thing well, work? You turn it on, and uh, you can choose different games, uh, learning games, and press go. And it, this, the, uh, People remember this, I know. Yeah, yeah and it has synthesized speech and it oops, tells you to spell things. Spell extra and then you'd have then to you spell it out. type it in okay. and it tells you if you're right or wrong. Now, uh, this is a voice synthesizer, yes. right? Unlike uh, later things which had more memory, you could yeah, put actual voices. This, this has been more successful for, uh, for modifying and making strange sounds with because it has a really complex circuit in it that it doesn't have the memory capacity to record sounds, so it, it created speech yeah um, so that gave you an opportunity this is basically a borg speak and spell yes. uh and actually this is the french version la dite yep. magique magique uh um, <laughs> a b c d yep it has okay. the french accent so here let me put a mic up on it um, so uh, you and you put this box on it that you can right. tune it right so um yeah so i could fit all of the because there are so many mods you can do to it do so something with it just all right well here's here's it functioning as it normally functions. that is kind of free yeah it, it is did you get kind of obsessed by this? Thing? I definitely did. Um, as I said, I, I started this as sort of to lead into doing synthesizers, but I've been doing this for three years, so yeah. I've just been spending so much time so, with it. So it might, it might make some modified stuff. That, right. was, the, that was the normal so, French, which well, is weird now. Found some, you can make it loop, and then here's a pitch change. Uh, but then I found some more unusual mods that did things like this. And what are you doing? You're modifying the uh, analog electronics in here, basically? Um, mostly I'm rerouting digital signals and... Uh, oh, that's kind of, listen to that. And there it goes. Not what you would think at all would come out of it. It's kind of so musical. It, it is. Now, how did you figure this stuff out? Are there schematics? Is there uh, some way that you... Um, well, I mean, I knew that it, that it existed. I knew that it would... It wouldn't be completely a waste of time to play with it, and I just opened it up and poked around. Opened so. it up and poked around. He did. Look at the and inside of this you know, thing. No education. Was there a joystick just, originally? No, there wasn't. You've added a joystick um, capability as well. Yeah, I'll show you how that works in a second. <laughs> so, so here's the, all these wires are these the are your wires. Yeah, that's here not, I have. To show you a another, clean speak and spell, this is how it, how it looks pre-mod. It's just a it's just a circuit board. It, yep. So here's fact, the clean it's a very, one. It's a very simple. This is the clean one over here. I'll show you real quick. So you can see. So what did you do? You just touched wires to the various um, contacts? Yeah, I mean, I basically, I got a whole bunch of them. I bought them off eBay. got a whole How bunch of How much did they cost on eBay? Uh, $15, okay. about. And there's speaking mass and speaking reads. They all do the same thing. Right. Um, and I just took a piece of wire and started poking around and, you know, one pin to another and found something that <laughs> was good. So I drew a schematic and made notes. Did you, but you knew nothing about electronics? You nothing just kind at of all. just self-taught? <laughs> completely self-taught. That's very cool. So, and this has taught me how to... How to you know, experiment Are these the best toys for this kind of thing? Um, well, depending on what you're looking for. Um, There's a VTech. VTech has a uh, similar device, right? The yeah. Alphabet. You can get different types of effects, but as far as getting really complex sounds that are nothing like the original There's sounds. There's the VTech, is, which is their version of the speaker. One of the more recent. And you've done that. That's your mod there as well. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It has two toys in it, and you can control the pitch of each one with the joystick. So that's a more recent. Let's, uh, let's model. stop this drum machine. All right. I guess we could just unplug it. There you go. Bye bye. And now, and plug that into this because this right. is this is a drum, a Yamaha drum machine. Yeah. So this modified has, though. This you put a patch bay yep, into it. I took a normal Yamaha drum machine, added all these patch points. And what, what is the purpose of that? Well, this is similar to this, where I have different points on the circuit board that are wired up, except 
With this one, you make your own connections rather than having switches that you turn on and off. Gives you a little more flexibility. Yeah, because there's so many possibilities of different sounds. You want to play it a little bit just to see what we Yeah, I'll show make you. Make something really weird. Well, here's some... You can get a variety. Very industrial. Yeah, this yeah, one, it doesn't... see Jesus and Mary Chain using this. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, kind of, do you use it in your music? Um, sometimes. I yeah. mean, I've, I've made a couple different drum machines. You can get some neat effects. Nothing like the speak and spell. You're mostly getting like distortions of the sounds that exist. I, this is kind of cool. These are these are Chinese little Chinese device, the toys. Yeah. Like, where did like, this come from? Well, what I've been doing recently, after I was experimenting with these, I've been looking for other types of circuits, and I've been taking the cheapest, cheapest possible circuits I can find. So these are ones that are like beanbag toys that you throw. You can't change the batteries. It's just when it dies. And now dies. you put a pot on it. So what I did is here's here's another one. So here's a you throw it and it goes boing. <laughs> yeah, we have that toy at home. It's annoying. <laughs> All right. Um, but when you because it's so cheaply made, when you turn the pitch down, let's get this out. It does. The sound breaks down in a really interesting way. It doesn't change pitch as you would expect it. It's yeah. actually falling apart. It's actually, yeah, the sound is falling apart into its you know, little. And you, you put jacks sense. on here so you can what? Hook it up to a big amplifier? Yeah, this is a little RCA cable. This is so creepy. Somebody paid how much yeah. for this? Uh, that was 150. 150 yeah. bucks for it. This was originally. This is a doll, but if you take the body of the doll off, yep, this I is. I just took the doll and ripped the body off, and that's what's left. And uh, let me let me play. We played it at the beginning of the show. It's, it's, it's just a strangest. laughing doll. Yeah. But, if, but very, it could very change. creepy. <laughs> I love it. Now, collectors buying these from you. Oh, and this is another nice feature. Yeah, and you've that's got the, the audio jack, the so you can plug the guitar cable into it. and It's still going. On stage. It's still going. Yeah. A collector's buying it, and this one sold as well to the collector. Yes. It's very yeah. Toy Story. Kind of kind of very sick and creepy. weird. You sit around in your underwear uh, and hat, surrounded by these devices? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Peter Edwards, you are amazing. I can't wait to see what you do next. What's your, what's your hope for your next uh, uh, Just keep working and make bigger and crazier things and fun yeah it's a lot of fun this one is creepy but there's something very exciting there. peter edwards thanks so much for being here you can Thank find you out much. i'm gonna bring this on regis and kelly see what they do you can find out more about how peter gets his mods working at the screensavers.com we'll link you to his own site